Start tonight with domestic violence advocates raising awareness for teens, those teens experiencing domestic violence. ABC 4's Kayla Baggerly live in Salt Lake for us tonight. And Kayla, this comes after an apparent murder suicide involving two teens this week. That's right, Nick. Advocates are saying it's important to recognize that teen domestic violence can come in many forms and to learn the warning signs. We need to have these conversations because these stories, whether it's teens or adults, are on the news far too often. Advocates say that teen domestic violence is a serious issue. Teens are thinking, uh, are reporting that it's approximately one in three teens um, have self-identified that they um, have been experienced um, physical, sexual, emotional, um, digital stalking um, abuse in, in the romantic relationship. Wolf says that prevention is key, and part of that is a strong support group of parents, trusted adults, and peers. Teens are going to listen to other teens. Advocates emphasize the importance of being an active listener. And when someone opens up to you, letting them know you're there to help with what they're going through. You want to make sure that you've made yourself a safe space. Ask them how you can help them and help connect them to people who can provide really professional help. Some red flags to look out for. It's a lot of digital stalking. It's a lot of, you know, seeking, you know, permission to do things that normally would not you need permission for. Wolf says it starts with teaching children healthy boundaries from a young age. Saying no when something feels uncomfortable, those are conversations that are never too early to, to start. And most of all, what they want teens to know. There are people that love them, that they're not alone, that they really need to tell someone, and that there are people there that will help them through this. Advocates say the best things you can do to support your teens are to let them know you're there for them and to truly listen and talk about healthy and unhealthy relationships early on. We'll have more information and resources on our website at abc4.com. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Kayla Baggerly, ABC4 News. Okay.